Hey guys, I'm just wanting to show you a new tutorial I'm working on. Um, it show you how to add an image or video uh, to a uh, existing footage that you have. How to properly track it using planar tracking. If you don't know what planar tracking is, it uses uh, it it tracks like here's the original image right here, and uh, it will accurately track a flat surface, uh, an image or a uh, of a video. And uh, here I added Big Buck Bunny to the truck, to the U-Haul. And uh, so you can see that that is what is being done. Um, the tutorial will explain uh, details about uh, how to set up the scene. Um, I'm using uh, Hollywood uh, Camera Works uh, video footage the, um, to... Uh, it, you can download it. I'll give a link in the description to where you can download the same footage and uh, follow along with the tutorial. But uh, in the tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to um, use this planar tracking to track this footage. And it will track even if, as you can uh, see here, oh, wait a minute, I'll show you masking and tracking. Let's go to tracking here. Um, it will track this footage um, perfectly. Let me scroll up here a minute. As you can see here, as I scrub through the timeline, you can see the parallaxing here happening over here, but you're getting a perfect track. The U-Haul is not moving in the scene, but you see the background is moving, and this girl here is actually occluding the track, but it still perfectly tracks the U-Haul image even though she gets in front of it. So um, that's the advantage of planar tracking is it doesn't have to be, it, it can be partially occluded and still uh, give you a proper track. Um, I'll also show you how to use the grease pencil to uh, mask out um, parts of the image that you don't want to track or that you do want to track and leave out the rest actually. Um, and then I'll also get into masking um, where you can uh, mask out like her head and her hair um, and uh, make it follow along that way when she gets when she includes um, the plane that we're going to use here let's go to the default setting here scene here as you can see we're gonna set up in a 3d scene a plane that will project the image that we want to put on the U-Haul and um, but we can see that her head is actually behind it well we want to mask that out so that way we can in, com in the compositor uh, put her head in front of that to where she will occlude the image when it renders so um, that is the tutorial I'm working on right now I hope this was clear enough and not too confusing for you. I'll try to make it as concise as I can, but I'm trying to get this up last minute here. So, um, okay. Uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy this tutorial and find it useful.